my name is Julie from So Unique and I'll pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Well, welcome to episode, I think I'm on 93. Uh, if I'm not, I apologise. <laughs> this was a bit of an impromptu one. Um, to be honest, this video I should have filmed and uploaded last Thursday. We are on Bank Holiday Monday at the minute, August. And I thought I would pop on and just share with you some of the new fabrics that I got delivered while I was on holiday and throughout last week. Now I have unpacked everything but two items here so we'll see how long it takes to get through what I've got. I just thought I would split the, this video up so when I do my normal vlog um, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week it's not going to be too long because I have gone a little bit mad with buying some fabric, I'm afraid. Hmm. So I'm going to have lots of lovely sewing time. <laughs> Anyhow, the first lot of fabrics I've got, we'll just jump straight into it, are from Pound Fabric, Pound Fabrics. And they had a sale on, and who can resist the sale? <laughs> So the first fabric I got is a digital multicoloured floral on white viscose fabric and I got two metres of this and this cost me £9.50 so isn't that absolutely gorgeous roses, I love roses and the colours are beautiful slightly muted and it is a very floaty fabric if I can find a piece very floaty and I must admit I've never used viscose fabric until recently and if you've been following me you'll have seen I made some viscose trousers in a navy blue with like a, a white leaf pattern on well I had them on yesterday for the first time with the white um, Stevie Stevie top and the blue kimono and the navy blue double gauze and the trousers were so comfortable so floaty it was so airy they felt absolutely wonderful so I can see there's going to be more trousers like that for next summer definitely so and tops as well so that's the first fabric I got so this I'm going to keep it for next year and sorry for the rustling and make something nice out of that I mean I have bought most of the stuff for next year and the next one it's called Flower Paradise and it's a viscose chalice and it's in blue I had two meters of that and that cost me £7.50 it's blue and green and I must admit I am very drawn to blue and green at the minute. This feels very, can't find an end, floaty. It's got a little bit of a texture to it so it's not quite as smooth as the other one but it feels like it is going to be a very very floaty fabric so I'm sure this will make either a pair of trousers, crop trousers or a t-shirt of some kind, well a t-shirt top of some kind as I have quite a few nice patterns now very simple patterns I've got, I've not gone for anything complicated <laughs> so that is the second one and the third one this is called Red Spring Flowers and Leaves and it's cotton poplin and I got two metres of this and this cost me £7.90 so this is really really nice, I love this the colours are coming up really well on camera, I'm really pleased with that and I'm sure if you've had cotton poplin before you'll all know what it's like and it's it's nice, it's it's not as stiff as like the ordinary 100% cotton that I normally have but that feels quite nice. I think when that's washed up 
it'll make a lovely pair of trousers for next summer or a t-shirt top I don't know if I'll get the Montana I might actually get a Montana dress out of two meters if I put a, a plain black face in them or something like that so oh, that is really really nice so that's all I got from Pound Fabrics um excuse me a minute I've dropped my label right the next fabric I've got is from first for fabrics and I've got something for autumn now I'm not sure what this kind of fabric is I think it's a viscose but it looks really really nice let's see if I can get it the right way up yeah so the, the colours I don't know is it ginkgo leaves or ginkgo leaves really really nice so I thought this is the start of my autumn fabrics because I want to make some uh, stevie tops because they're very simple to make and it is something I can easily make smaller as I lose weight, which is which is good. This is why I don't want to make anything too complicated. I want to be able to alter it. <laughs> I bought all these nice fabrics. And you will see as we go along um, how I've managed to get some other autumn fabrics that all go together. And the next one I bought from First for Fabrics is a tulip pink. And now I can't think what the name is of this one. Let me just see if there's a the label on it. It's the Alice Through the Looking Glass. I saw some, yeah, Alice Through the Looking Glass. But, oh, it's called Down the Rabbit Hole. I knew it was something like that. So. So there is Alice. <laughs> yeah, it's upside down. There is Alice falling down the hole with all the trees and everything else on it. So that's really nice. I really love it. And, and the quality of the fabric is oh, it's so it's gorgeous. So that is probably going to be a top or a montana dress or something for next year so i'm really looking forward to that and orange and pink is quite nice really it's, not, it's probably something i would never have put together myself an orange and pink but that's really nice i like that so i'm, I'm going to be fully kitted out next year I'm, I'm, what i'm hoping for is to get my wardrobe emptied out of all the clothes that don't fit me because obviously if you follow me you know I'm on a healthy eating plan I suppose and I am actually losing weight I've lost about seven or five pounds up to now in four months which is really really good so I'm really pleased at that and <clears throat> I just need to lose a bit more because I need to get into a at least a size 16 if I can get into a size 16 I'll be happy <laughs> So I need to start sort of sorting my wardrobe about taking things to the charity shop, anything that doesn't fit me, which I've got quite a few things that don't fit me now, so I can have a complete wardrobe, me made. That's that's the goal. That that's the aim, I should say, not the game. Right, well the next fabrics, I've got three, and these come from whoop, Beyond the Pink Door. And this one is a viscose. That is beautiful. I mean, you've got sort of beigey, tiny colour flowers with burgundy, a few shades of burgundy, a green, it's a muted, they're all muted colours, but I think I could get away with this for autumn as well. So I might make that into something this year. I've got two metres of this, so I can 
make any of the tops that I like. Um, a couple of things. I'm not sure yet. I need to think about this one. But it feels really nice. It's really soft and it's floaty, which is good. So looking forward to using that. And the next two fabrics were still from behind the pink door. I mean, these are gorgeous. The colours are beautiful. I'm not sure if they're dahlias or or what, but this feels this has got a different sort of texture to it. It's it's very very floaty, and it's a bit sort of linen-y, but I it, I don't think it is. I, I think I think it's a viscose. I'm not 100 certain, but what I'll do is I will check what it is and I will <laughs> leave leave it down below so you know what it is. But I love the pink i must admit she's got a lilac -y purple one and i was going to go for that and i thought you know i'm going to have a change from sort of some of the lilac purple things and go for the pink one and i've also gone for the more autumnal one which i think is really really nice and this has got a little bit of pink in as well as green so these are absolutely beautiful and I think that's upside down. <laughs> Here we go. So I think what I'm going to do is probably use this one this year and probably make it into a nice top. <coughs> and the next one I've got is from um, Minerva Fabrics. And I bought a pattern. I've been looking for like cardigan pattern, jumper pattern, anything like that. And sometimes it's very difficult to find what you're looking for. So I have been watching a lot of sewing blogs at the minute, um, more for recommendations of patterns, really. And yes, I found quite a few. Um, and one of them, I came across this one on the Minerva side. It's a, a kimono. Kim mono style cardigan which i like I, I like things like that and you've got different lengths there and some have got bands on and some haven't so i'm looking forward to having a <coughs> excuse me having a play with that so the fabric i got for this is a knit fabric and that's that one so that's really nice because it's very i think it's autumnal and it's got colors on there that i like and they are sort of slightly muted so i've bought that one um i think i got either, i think i got two or two and a half meters of that so i'm looking forward to trying the cardigan patterns and i also bought a sample of more sort of brownie coloured one and I do quite like this and I think this is going to go well with some other fabric that I've got for making trousers and which I will share with you soon so that is nice and it's very soft floaty and I think it would be perfect for a cardio of some kind right that's that then and the other bits i've got to share with you are a couple of patterns i'll just get a picture of it out of the folder right well the first one i've come across ellie and mac and they do do pdfs they're online so that is a cardigan pattern that I've bought, which that looks a nice length. So I'm hoping to have a go at that. I've just got to stick everything together. It's going to take me forever to stick all these patterns together. 
Hey, do you? And also, oh, what I got as well online, this is off um, Waves and Wild. It's like a, a sewing planner. So it's like that. And the pages you've got in here are, you've got a sheet for fabric record, which is quite good. And then you've got several pages like for project details. So you can put a fabric swatch, swatch, swatch on. Um, supplies you have, supplies you need. You've got notes, you can put a sketch on. I thought you could put a, um, take a photograph or something of the finished item, which would look nice because I know if I make something and as time goes on, you forget or what pattern you use or where you got your fabric from or anything like that and you can guarantee somebody will always say oh i like that <laughs> where did you get your pattern from and i'm like i can't remember so i thought that was a good idea so you can obviously print just print out what you need and then we've got pattern company pattern name size range things like that which i thought was good and then you can do A lot of that's all I've got on that one. There were two those two you can print out in a second. And um, on the other one you can print out for your measurements. So they've got a lady, they've got a male one and a child one, which I thought was, was a good idea. So that's something to think about. If like I say it was a free download, waves and wild, if you need something like this for your sewing project i think it's really really good so i'm looking forward to, to using these and what i'm probably going to do for the for, to start off is just maybe put one of these sheets with each lot of fabric and the pattern um and then when i'm ready to use the i can start and make notes so i thought that that is that's a good idea uh see how long we've been going up oh we've, i've been going for 17 minutes <laughs> Right, I think I will leave it there for today. Um, I have got one, two. I've got another two lots of fabric to share with you, but I think I will share the next few bits of fabric in the next vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the new fabrics and I hope you've enjoyed seeing the new patterns. Um, I'm now going to go and get some sewing done because I've got some tops cut out which I need to sew, otherwise I won't have anything to share in my next vlog. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a, a lovely bank holiday Monday, Every, all of you who live in the UK and wherever you are I'm hoping you all have a good day and I hope you're getting some sewing done and I will see you all again soon. Thank you for joining me, bye for now.